in the 26th century a group of alien races come together to form a military alliance called the Covenant. They think that the superweapon ring world known as Halo will provide a path to salvation and declare humanity in a front of their gods, kicking off a genocidal campaign to kill all humans in 2552 in the human colony. Madrigal Quan and her friends wander around the woods to look for a plant to get wasted. Suddenly Quan hears a noise and leaves the group behind to investigate, only to discover a ship has landed nearby and there are lights blazing inside. A cavern terrified she rushes to her friends to alert them to get back, but the enemy gets the first and starts killing them. The group begins running away as fast as they can considering their current condition, but fire keeps coming around them, killing them one by one. Quan manages to hide and shoot a flare to alert the people at the insurrectionist outpost, who immediately rush to their defensive positions and get ready to fight. Then Quan keeps on running and enters the outpost right before it closes. She tells her father that the attackers aren't the usual marines but he doesn't listen, and sends her to hide with the other civilians as the enemy reaches the outpost and opens fire. The front gaudy is blown up, and a bunch of aliens come in to start killing, everyone in sight not even batting an eye at humans' primitive weapons, humans are dying. All over the outpost and Quan can't watch any longer so she gets out to look for her father. This saves her life because an alien soon opens the shelter door and shoots everyone inside. At that moment a ship flies over and drops the Spartans, an army of genetically engineered super soldiers. The Spartans immediately begin fighting the aliens with their advanced armor and weaponry proving to be vastly superior. Quan continues to run around dodging explosions and tries hiding inside a trailer, but Alien finds her anyway. Luckily Master Chief quickly shoots the alien from afar, once the remaining aliens are cornered together. The Spartans shoot them in one go finishing the fight. Quan gets ready to reunite with her father, but suddenly an alien reveals. It's still alive and goes after her. Her dad immediately comes to her rescue but the alien kills him with a blade. Master Chief quickly jumps in to kill the alien before making a report. 20. Elite alien warriors and 150 civilians were killed leaving Quan as the only survivor afterward the Spartans leave to look for the enemy ship Quan grieves for her father, but when she realizes she's been left alone, she decides to follow them. The Spartans enter the cave, Quan saw earlier unaware that an alien is following them, and they discover the Covenant was there to excavate something. Master Chief finds a relic the aliens left on a wall, and when he touches it, the whole cave lights up and he has a vision of a family having a picnic. While a white dog runs around at that moment, the chief's partner pulls him off, the relic, and the illusion ends. Suddenly they see the remaining alien running off and go after it, but the alien turns invisible and sneaks out unseen. The alien makes it outside and reckons and runs through Quan knocking her out before reaching its ship and taking off later at the UNSC or United Nations Space Command. Dr. High convinces her boss, Admiral Pangus, to let her study the relic instead of putting it away on her way out. Pangus notices that High is still working on a project that was supposed to be on pause, and tells her to get rid of it. High enters a room to reveal a capsule with a strange body inside but she hesitates to terminate it. Meanwhile in the Covenant Command Center the Hierarch visits May, the only human in their ranks that they raised is the Blessed One. She predicted the location of the relic, and she's shocked to hear someone else beside her could activate it back to Quan. She wakes up and panics when she discovers she's in the Spartan ship. A hologram of Dr. Miranda appears to ask Quan for a favor. She wants her to record a video telling the other colonies about the threat of the Covenant that way, they'll stop fighting the UNC, and instead all humans can fight the aliens together. However, after spending all her life fighting the government's propaganda, Quan refuses to be part of it unless they accept to pay her with freedom for her colony afterward. Master Chief feeds Quan and learns that they've met before it was him who killed her mother. The conversation is interrupted when he gets a message telling him Quan must be eliminated and he's so upset that he decides to cut off the security cameras at the base, Pongus is furious. So Hai explains that, the relic seems to have given Master Chief his memories and feelings back to get things under control. She drops the oxygen to zero in the ship to kill Quan. But only 40% in Master Chief's suit. This is enough for him to keep moving and open the panels in the ship allowing Quan to survive. Pongus won't accept any more insubordination and orders the Marines to blow up the ship when it comes closer on the ship. Quan grabs a weapon and threatens Master Chief thinking he's the one who tried to kill her to gain her trust. He removes his helmet and shows his face revealing. 
His name is John Quan, agrees to work together and shoots the ship's AI to change it to manual mode, so John can pilot it away. But sadly, a cannon hits them first, and the ship falls to the ground, seeing all the soldiers coming after them. John decides to touch the relic again. The vision shows him his family, and his younger self, drawing, the relic at that moment. The relic sends a wave of energy across the base causing it to lose all power and disabling all weapons however, the ship gets extra power so, John and Quan fly away to escape then, a flashback shows John 22 years earlier, when he was still in training he sneaks out in the middle of the night and meets with Sorin who is shocked, when his friend suddenly pulls a gun on him, John doesn't want to escape anymore and reminds Sorin they must respect the rules, but Sorin talks about following their dreams and how this place brainwashes them. He also reminds John that he lost his arm because of the experiments. John decides to give him five minutes to escape, but still refuses to go back in the pres present. Quan is shocked to see a glow around the ship, and John explains they're using a special travel method called slip space. Eventually they end up in the middle of an asteroid field, so John uses fast reflexes to pilot around them and avoid any damage once they leave the asteroid field. They find a hidden space station known as the Rubble, which leaves outside the law. The locals immediately draw their weapons and try to block John's way with a vehicle. But he just moves it away at that moment. The leader of the station tells them to lower their weapons. It turns out to be an older Sarin who welcomes John warmly and informs him, there's a Anquan's head. Meanwhile, the UNC has a special meeting to discuss the situation. They want John to be terminated, but High goes against Panga's wishes and reveal. She has a new program called 